What's going on, fellow humans and resellers? It is I, James, redoptionissues.com. 21 years selling on eBay. And we're going to do some pulling. Uh, eBay website's been a mess today, again, unfortunately. Even the phones, I try calling in and it's just, it. when the rep started talking to hang up, you can tell that they cut, um, when they cut those employees, a lot of them was reps. Because I used to, having an anchor store, I could call in and I would get through to somebody immediately. Now I have to sit on the line for, on hold for like 10 minutes. Today I sat on for 10 minutes. He got on, started talking, and the phone line cut off. I called back, waited 10 minutes. I got tired of waiting. I just hung up. So, yeah. Some, uh... <sighs> Just this, this website just got issues today. But anyway, this is celebrating the pool. So I got 25 items to pull. Uh, we are at 7.45 p.m. So I decided to wait till later since sales are non-existent today. So we'll go ahead and pull what so at 60. And then I was just pointed out an issue with the store, eBay store. Um, if you notice the new way they're doing things, when, you, when somebody clicks in your store and they click on an item, it pops up a little bubble instead of showing the whole item in the page. And I'm not a fan of that at all. But what I just was pointed out to today is it does not show that all my that my off items have best offer. It just shows buy it now and add to cart. It says nothing about offer. So if somebody clicks that, they don't even have access to my best offer. So that's alienating a lot of potential customers. And I'm not happy about that. So I am going to call tomorrow and be like, hey, what's up with this? Because that's not cool. I mean, why have the best offer option if you're going to hide it from customers uh twin creeks ranch ball cap sold for twelve dollars you would think that if they're making all these changes that they would do the research but they never do and that's frustrating because they, they they leave it to us to point it all out <laughs> uh, it should not be that way that's 35. We got another pair of shoes that sold since I lowered the prices. So that's good. We got some Crocs. I'm the, <laughs> I'm the eBay watchdog. <laughs> I think that somebody called me. Uh, not that funny. I'm trying to keep them in check. They're like, stop costing us sales. And these sold for $14.44. Boom, boom, boom. And another pair of shoes that sold. These have been in the store for probably a little over a year. So I took an offer for $12 on these. Z21. Z21. Earth Nutmeg Women's Shoes. And these sold for $12. Yeah. $12. Ah, I just put this up. Olaf from Frozen 2. S56. Frozen 2 hat. And he sold for $13.50. Boom, boom, boom. 
Ba boom, ba boom. S68. We've got a Mad Cats PS2 controller. And that sold for $8.50. T83. We got another pair of shoes. Yay! Got the three shoes today at least. <laughs> Everything else is in the crapper, but got three shoes. IMPO brand. Some women's loafers. Those hold for $14.44. Tub, tub, tub. S32. Just put these up a couple of days ago. I got two of them. And one sold already. Chapman University hats. And that sold for $13.50. At least some of the new stuff sold today, so that's good. Positive. Positive. Alright, that is all from the West Wing. Just over there. Alright. I love this job. Because it's not even a job. Alright, next up. Let's go. C54. We got a disc only UB40. No, I'd be 52. You don't know what you're talking about. It's UB40. No, I'd be 52. We got disc only and promo CD single. So for $6. Next up, we've got Stairs 2, Jimmy Reed. More the best. <laughs> I close the door on Bernie's up there whining. Figured it wasn't going to be down here long, so no point in him venturing the stairs. More the best. Alright, Jimmy Reed. 8 tracks sold for $10. $10. All right, to the east. What? Adrian wants to know if he should bring something home. Uh, what are you guys going to get? I don't know. I saw the sign of two for some five ninety nine at Fazoli's. Um, anything is fine. Uh, that's fine if that's what you want. Do you want something from there? Yeah, I get those nuggets. Wings? Yeah, the boneless wings, hot, boneless spicy, wings. and some okay. breadsticks. Yeah, that's good. I don't eat much from there anyway. You maybe eat about three or four of those little nuggets and put the rest in for the next day. Keep my eating to the minimal. Minimum. All right. I'm not a pasta person. I do not like pasta. The only way I can eat pasta is like the one at Chili's with the chili seasoning on it. And I have to ask for extra and I like drown it in that seasoning. Like I can't do white sauce and I, unless it's really seasoned and I can't do red sauce at all. Like how many people do you know who do not like pizza? That would be me. If you know nobody, you now know one. And it's reason is because of the cheeses and the sauce that they used in pizza. Like, I could do pizza if it's barbecue sauce and chicken <laughs> and doesn't have any of that mozzarella cheese and all that kind of stuff on it. Then technically, is it really even pizza? So, never been a fan of pizza. Plus, I can't do a lot of cheese at all. So, pizza's got a lot of cheese on it. I'm just like, not a fan of huge amounts of cheese. So, 
I always just get the hot chicken wings, boneless wings from Fazoli's. And of course the breadsticks, gotta love those breadsticks when they're done right anyway. sticks when they're nice soft and buttery but of course i don't mind it when they're not like that because i don't eat as many <laughs> i'll eat maybe one or two if they're not nice soft and buttery if they're nice soft and buttery i'll go through five or six of them uh law enforcement centers trucker cap sold for 12 14. Next up, we got B39. Dubossi. Dubossi. Classical. Solo piano music, volume one. To the set. Boo, 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 boo. There we go. And that CD sold for $7. Another album. Albums have been moving pretty good lately. So that's another positive. C15. And we got... Oh, that's not it. That was LA Guns. Part of the original Guns N' Roses. Tracy Guns from L.A. Guns was the guns in Guns N' Roses before they were big. Is going to be the last one in pool? No. Uh, yep. <laughs> His hidden. And then we got Guns N' Roses cassette tape only. Sold for $8.50. And if you're new to my video, the prices I give do not include the shipping I do charge. So $8.50 for that. And then C33. You got another one. New order. Brotherhood. Tape only. And that sold for $8.50. Two different people also. So back to back. All right, tub 114. I like getting this item in because it usually sells pretty quick. And I get it pretty often. Tub 114. Another thing that was pointed out about the stores, and I've said, I think I've said this in a video maybe a couple weeks ago. What I don't like about the new store layout is the fact that the eBay search engine is above the store, your store, and it's very easy to miss the search engine for the store and type in the search engine for eBay. So it's very easy to uh, your customer to exit your store. So I'm gonna ask him about that tomorrow. We're, uh, one of my, we were talking about it on Facebook this evening. There it is, finally. We got a St. Louis Cardinals distressed hat and they made it like this. It was Barry. Uh, was his name? Klein, number 49 he used to get pine tar all over his hat, I guess. So when they did a stadium giveaway one year, they made it look like his hat. So every time I get this in, it sells. So. And it sold for $10. And next up, tub 13. 
got a offer on this hat. Got a message saying, I'm making a costume. I don't mean to insult you with the offer. I'm like, that's not an insult. I, you know, all my hats are $14.99 and they go to like on sale, but they offer 10 bucks. I'm like, that's not an insult. I will take the $10 for a hat any day of the week. Now if I can just find it, I know it's in here, I just put it up. I just listed it, where are you at? It's got an attachment to it, so it's kind of funny shaped. So it could be kind of hidden, hiding itself a little bit. Camouflage itself. I got a Minions hat with a little mask underneath. So that sold for ten dollars. Tub one, two, three. One, two, three. Where you at? Wash hat. Boom. And that sold for $13.50. Tub 26. Brain farted there for a second. Like, where's 26 at? This is that piece I picked up at the Iowa bins. And I remember when I grabbed it, some of the locals there, local kids who I started to end up talking to, who go after vintage clothes, saw me grab this. I was like, oh. And one guy said to the other local, he goes, you're losing it. He's coming in and getting your stuff. <laughs> or something to that nature. But it took forever to sell. For some reason, I guess because it's a small, but it's a killer hoodie. Nice vintage Nike Air Jordan piece, but being a small, I guess that's why it didn't move. So, took an offer for $20 on that. B48. And I already got that one pulled. I, was, I pulled that one this morning. Alright, so that's all from in here. I'm not sure how many items I got listed today. I'll have to count them. Kind of slow today because I made a video with Jan and been kind of slacking a little bit. Actually, a lot of bit today, but that's all right. That's all right. That's okay. We are walking through some youth, smiling through the pain. That's all right. That's okay. Anything else sell? Nope. Nope, nope, no. Nope. I know there's some more stuff here to pull. Got that album. Looks like maybe a Latin piece. An LP18. Masita does. This might be a minute. Actually, I won't waste your time with this one because I'm going to have to probably page through here to find it. So, went kind of long this morning on finding vinyl. I won't put you through that misery again. So, I'll pull that one after the video. And I'll just save it for Adrian to pull. And then he'll save it for me tomorrow. <laughs> so, I'll have to pull it. Shelf 921. And or Z7. So, I had two of these. So, let's see if this one's still over here. That was all messed up. 
and I don't see it over here. So let's go to Z7. Or is it a small? No, it's a big one. Z7. Z7. We play video game sold for eight fifty, and that looks like all except that vinyl. Poor. Actually, I'll pull that now. So if you don't want to watch, you can just stop the video now. I guess this is the last one. There we go. Bonus footage, the pain in the butt finding a piece of vinyl. Okay. All right, it looks like it's like a grass, green grass, meadow type of cover. Whoa, 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 in the meadow. We could turn in the ghetto into in the meadow. Make it a song about cows or something. But for some reason, I, I'm not pulling the melody out of my head. So I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be turned on tonight for my parody songwriting ability. So I won't torture you. And butcher it. Well, come on, man. I don't like doing it like this because I, it's so easy to miss. As you saw with today's earlier video. They're so close together. It's the only problem with putting so many under one number. Like if you do vinyl and you do use this kind of system, definitely limit your number of pieces to each number that you say or file it under. If you don't do alphabetical. I don't do alphabetical because it's a pain in the butt. Here it is. It takes a lot longer do alphabetical I used to do that way back when the day so I've been there done that and and then when something's out of place it's still a pain so all right there we go that's sold for seven. Oh, we got another Nintendo that just sold that's upstairs $51 so that was a nice little added there for this evening we're at 8.08 p.m. And add on that $51 Nintendo. And boom. So maybe I made it to $500 now finally with that. 8 o'clock and I probably just hit $500. Bad. Pretty bad day. Alright. Boom. But anyway. Alright, back to listing while the f I wait for food to get here. So thanks everybody for watching. Appreciate all the love and support. Please like, subscribe, and all that jive. And if you're... um, What I'm finding out is if you're an older... Uh, subscriber to my channel and uh, you're not getting notifications um, if you unsubscribe then subscribe back it'll turn them on because apparently there was a update or something on youtube um, well after i did my shoe videos and it something changed within youtube so you have to unsubscribe and then subscribe back then you can turn on the notifications so just so you guys know about that if you're trying to get note because somebody made a comment about notifications today so thanks everybody for watching and i will see you all in the next video later